Hello there, it's Thomas Oracle here with a pop-in collective message. I hope you guys are doing well. This is going to be a collective reading, so this reading may or may not resonate with you. It is not time-specific or science-specific, so please take the messages that apply and simply leave the rest. Bong Siman, which means have a blessed week ahead. I um, wanted to still wish everybody a happy Mother's Day or those who are moms. Happy Mother's Day to you. I hope you guys were spoiled today as you should be. Okay. Yeah, there's a funk here. <laughs> I wish I could show you the deck, but I see a card here, which is why I knew I needed to use this deck. Okay. I'm just curious to see what wants to come through. Um, I had a really cool Mother's Day, mostly spent chilling because my mom really needs to rest. Um, my mom is a busy bee, so she's the kind of mom where it's like, doesn't matter what when where how she needs to be always working <laughs> okay so yeah today was spent relaxing and going to one of her favorite restaurants so i hope you guys had a good time with your mom as well let's go i think i'm gonna head straight into tarot okay something about a secret could be a relevance okay that's what i feel something about a secret could be of relevance <clears throat> this is a general reading if it sit it sticks i might be using yeah that was the card like i wanted to show you guys it was the card at the back of the deck just showing itself um the seat seven of swords and i was like hmm do i want to use it yes i do because it was flipped up like this and i could see it peeking through okay i wonder what's behind it yes what did i say about secrets this is creepy you see how talkative this deck is i shuffled what did i say about a secret because when i was shuffling i saw the high priestess the high priestess is here the deceitful card is here and the communication card is here someone wants to expose the person by sharing a secret it's giving oh did you know and i'm not sure what this person is trying to achieve but we will see this person as in the page of source energy is still steady here <clears throat> um, this deck has both upright and reversals. Is that about this person running out of options? Someone here, I don't know what they're they're trying to do here. Maybe somebody knows your secrets. <laughs> We're gonna see. All I know is it's about secrets. Um, there's a there's a conniving energy here also very childish and we're gonna find out I'm gonna do my best to have this deck in the upright that way if there are reversals um, they would have come out they would have come out organically yeah. So this reading essentially wants to cover something regarding a secret, okay? That someone could be strategically communicating <laughs> with another, okay? That's what I'm seeing. Yeah. All right, let's go. I'm hearing bombs away. That's what I heard. <laughs> what the heck? Yes. The high priestess is in the reverse. All right, that's very fascinating how that just flopped right out. Can I get an overall energy pertaining to relevant <laughs> messages for the collective? Relevant, I don't know why this is so important. Um, and the page of swords is here. I'm hearing relevance. <laughs> All right, maybe something this person wants to share is irrelevant. 
<laughs> I'm hearing the, the um, Mariah Carey song. Why are you so obsessed with me? That's funny. Oh, what's this struggling card? Three of Cups, friends, a group, a group of women, groupies. Yeah, someone wants to attack a person or they want to come in quick. I just feel like this is someone who could be like building up to do it because i saw the ten of wands when the seven of swords peeked out which is when i knew i had to use this deck it's like i don't know cards speak sometimes <laughs> it's a reader thing anyway so i feel someone wants to rush in with communication and i don't know what triggered them but something triggered this person to do this what's behind it eight cups they're doing it to someone who doesn't care, who's removed themselves from the situation. They could be doing it to someone who's very balanced with the angel energy here. With Ten of Wands. Yes, someone has been building up the courage to talk to a person. It's like a build up. It's like, you know, when <laughs> I've seen two women at an office. And for the longest while, Becky has been dying to tell Suzanne how she feels about her, I don't know, leaving her salad bowls stinking up the rest of the fridge in the office space kitchen. Every day she goes and opens the fridge and it stinks to tuna salad and she's been wanting to tell Becky for a hot second how she feels about the tuna salad stinking up the whole kitchen. But Becky's like super chill, right? Becky's like tuna salad is the bomb. Like she doesn't even know how pressed Suzanne feels about this. <laughs> and on one day, Becky hits her breaking point. Or no, Suzanne hits her breaking point and just comes for the jugular. You and your stinking tuna salad better get the F up out of here before I kick you out of this office myself. I can't stand your tuna salad. And this person's like, whoa, 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 where is this coming from? It was a build-up, okay? It was a build-up. Someone has been, has bent up frustration. They wanted to exercise on someone who's either just like... Something about this person being very high vibrational. I'm drawn to this meditation pose. I'm drawn to the angel. I'm drawn to the third eye. Now, either someone already knows or they just, they're just they too high vibrational to care. <laughs> like It's like someone who is very balanced. Even the cups in the Eight of Cups have a balancing act. So someone's chi isn't easily disrupted. But there's a person here who's coming. They're very, like, they're ready. Okay, I don't even know what this is about. It doesn't, obviously, it's not about tuna salad now. Maybe you like tuna salad. Ace of Pentacles. Wow. So someone here has a new beginning that awaits them. Okay, um, there's a lot of spiritual strength behind it. So maybe someone needed to like be in a certain sense of authority to claim this. Like this is a big deal. It's about a big deal. Something reads like a new lease on life perhaps or a new job, a promotion, something big here. There's a queen of swords, seven of swords behind it. King of pentacles, ace of wands. Someone might want a person to lose an opportunity. The Ace of Wands could be a project. The Seven of Swords, they want to lie to maybe a person's boss or a person's um, superior. That's sad. The Seven of Swords is wedged right between this King of Pentacles and a Queen of Swords. So you could have Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or Leo in your chart significantly. And there's someone who wants to lie to a person who reads a little bit more business oriented or financially oriented concerning a project in this case so that one loses out okay finances like someone thinks that this will disrupt a person's abundance maybe i don't know what is this ace of coins about the world there's a cycle closing out so it's like someone wants to scratch a person on the way out of a cycle closing out so it's like well i'm gonna do whatever i can to get you out of this job but um so and so is getting the promotion anyway so there's nothing you can do about it like there's something about um this ace of pentacles being secure okay so it's like yeah suzanne can run her mouth all she wants to the manager and try to get Becky in trouble, but it doesn't matter because Becky is moving up and getting her own office. Ooh, 
<laughs> right? It's like, damn, nine of pentacles. I don't even know when this happened. It looks like a card trick. Yes, someone is too indifferent and abundant to give a dang about snakes in the grass. It's almost like someone is so confident that what lies ahead of them is secured in ways with, with, where it's like a confidence that the divine's got you. The Ace of Pentacles is here. I don't know if this is already solidified, if someone already signed a contract for something great, but it kind of reads like there's no stopping this. Now, this I'm also hearing it could be a spiritual contract. Something beneficial that will upgrade a person significantly. So it has already happened in the spirit. As above, so below. Something is coming to someone that already occurred energetically or spiritually or I don't know how. It's it's already happened in some timeline. It reads weird like that. Whoa. That's a struggling card. Ten of Ooh. This is a big deal. It's like it hasn't happened yet, but it will. This is an abundance reading. This is part of someone's future destiny. Um, this can't be touched. This abundance, this big deal affects their family, their name. Like something about someone's name holds great weight because of this. Like it's the people that someone's going to start being associated with. The success that comes with it. Victory in the Six of Wands. All with this fresh start, Page of Pentacles. There's a lot of admiration that comes in this territory. Professionals liking it. King of Swords is a professional for me. Plans. Travel plans. Whoa. Two of Wands, the travel plans. This professional. There's someone here who could end up being like a financial advisor that goes everywhere with someone. What am I reading? <laughs> what do you ask? Okay. Ten Swords. This is interesting. Ten, ten. I'm hearing you can't have light without shade. Someone is experiencing a defeat while another person is experiencing a come up. What? This is the ultimate betrayal and defeat and this is a come up. Abundance. A golden opportunity that sticks. There's a king of water here with the tower. Something. Some something not looking too cute for someone. This person might have had an epiphany in feeling betrayed. Why is this betrayal here? All I know is it's a tower moment. Someone's shocked. Why is this person feeling in the ten of swords? Death in the reverse. Sorry if I make a lot of weird faces in between. I'm trying to process what I'm receiving intuitively versus what I think it is and the first thing that came to me was someone someone who cheated death and I don't know exactly what that means is that when you've escaped almost having died like that's literally what I got which is the most strangest thing death in the reverse when I saw the sensors I'm like someone feels ultimately betrayed la di da yeah As soon as this card came out, I, I, yo, it's like this the, the whole tone of the reading switched. There's something here, a person. What's the word? Give me one second. I need to answer this group chat, but I'm going to figure out. Give me one second. I'm just going to leave it right there. <laughs> Give me one second. Yes, my brain is braining. I understood it right. To succeed in staying alive in an extremely dangerous situation. Someone cheated death. Like, that's literally what I got. Okay. Now, does that mean it has to be, like, 
um, threatening in the sense that if someone was attacked or um, someone had it out for them. Uh, it could also be someone maybe got a second chance after falling really ill. It could mean someone um, got into an accident but they were spared, okay? Someone felt like they cheated death, okay? All right, we're on specific readings. Cheating death, surviving life-threatening situations, what? Four of Swords, this person could be healing and protecting themselves as a result. I don't know if they're healing somewhere. Um, they're reflecting on this truth. They're like, wow, I could have been, I could have died. This reading went from like, mm, they're really serious. Someone's like, I could have died. Like they're really just sitting with themselves. Thankfully, this person isn't in any threatening situations at the moment. I just feel like they're reflective. They're like, wow, I really could have died that night, I heard. This person is very defensive. There are people who have it out for them with the five of wands. This person could have a whole group or a system. The Five of Wands is fights opposition. The Seven of Wands is defensiveness. The Hierophant is maybe a group of people who take action. Anyway, this person is very careful with certain decisions they make, regardless. Okay. This kind of like is split. Whoa. Whoa. I'm hearing when worlds collide. Like, this is really silly. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh my gosh. This is crazy. You know what I'm seeing? The way the spread is fit. Okay, okay. So if I take these two cards aside, right? I have the world is so beautifully wedged between 10, 10. This was someone's reality. Someone nearly was taken up out of here. Someone else has abundance. What is that? Sorry abundance <laughs> something was on my lip abundance um tethered to that there's something about oh this is crazy i've never really gotten this <laughs> but i'm seeing two people or a group of people it's, it reads like a, a new community to come one person here went through some kind of um life-threatening experience they cheated death they now have a new start so does someone else and i'm gonna pick up on it because i'm like who is this energy then because it feels split in the middle like let's say for example let's take this right this one is the one who cheated death this is someone else who also has the opportunity to collaborate and make either a lot of money together <laughs> a lot of abundant beautiful memories to make even in family okay expansion the divine has decided something for these two it feels like two but it's more than just two. It, it'll become more. It's like one plus two equals this, da da da, and then multiply, da 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 da. More people will accumulate in this legacy to come. It feels very cool like that. Like, I don't know how to explain it. Wow, you have somebody who cheated, da da da. And the Ten of Cups to, con to confirm these people could be end up becoming family. There's also something I said about someone's name. Someone might take another person's last name. Like, it feels very like. It feels like merging there when worlds collide. That was so silly. <laughs> Whoa. This might anger the goat man. This destiny irritates negative energies. So the devil is like anything evil. Evil does not like good. Evil does not like divine abundance. Evil does not like love. And emotional fulfillment evil does not like unity and people working together evil dang near took this person out that's what it feels like can you imagine so something about this is so great and it's nice at the top of the reading felt like it's already secured so there's nothing that the enemy can do to stop what has already happened in the spirit realm i feel that's what it feels like it's like it's already set in stone Someone here even cheated death to prove that there is great purpose on them moving forward in this way. This is someone who got a whole reset, y'all. It's like from this NDE or like threatening situation, this person realized they got a second chance at life to do it differently. Do you know how, yo, 
I don't know, it would be interesting to like to watch a documentary of people who had a near-death near experiences. I see two people working together or more. It's faded. Wheel of Fortune. Destiny unfolding. I always find it funny how this creature is carrying this time clock. It's like you think you're in control until the divine says otherwise or moves certain pieces around to accommodate something fated. Divine Feminine, you are somehow part of this too. This is Divine Feminine Collective that is part of it. There's something about this being part of your good karma as well, to work with this person. There's someone here who, when I tell you something horrendous happened, I don't know which I should pitch, <laughs> pitch on first. What's behind the Divine Feminine? King of Wands. Yeah, there's someone here who wants to pursue a Divine Feminine energy. With judgment, this is a final decision. With justice, this is karmic justice that this energy comes forward. The Ace of Cups, this could be a new opportunity in love. This could also be you expanding with this person in terms of family. Okay. Someone else um, could be quite sad and is encouraged to move a different direction because they were not the right fit there's something yo this is really weird it's like i'm seeing <laughs> i'm seeing something happening here that evens out the, the scales energetically it's like it's meant to be that you either meet this person this could be new love this could be um someone you already know wanting a new star but there's something coming your way to accommodate divine balance in a way it's like this is meant to happen to balance out the scales for you I see someone else. Okay, Spirit is reminding me the analogy I had before. If this was... Who was who? Becky with the tuna salad. Who got her own office waiting on her. This was Suzanne who, who tried to curse her out for her tuna salad. Upset and encouraged to move a different direction and take a leap of faith. It's like, it was so weird how the cards were like... The same wish someone had to be the Empress or in the position of the Divine Feminine, this person is grieving and turning and moving into a new direction and letting it go. Like, it's kind of strange like that, where it's like, if, let's say somebody really wanted your position in life, or they really wanted your destiny. They're they're seizing this, like, it's it's final, the, the world. The Ace of Pentacles, a new beginning awaits. The same way the Divine had it written to occur, I'm hearing it will unfold <laughs> period dot something about a collaboration this merging of worlds will create some kind of long-term abundance here someone had a near-death experience in this particular reading um okay which is kind of wild i'm curious to that okay can we expand on this death card in the reverse this card is coming out the third time now. Someone could have tried to harm a person up to three times. I saw the card there. That's why I picked up the deck. I just kept my mouth shut. Then it fell out. I was like, oh, dang. I said, <laughs> expand on this death in the reverse. What someone escaped. So the enemy's trap. The seven of swords is notorious for deceit, trickery right lies this is someone placing the swords intentionally here for somebody to come and get wrecked okay this is someone who did something while a person was transitioning so it's like this someone here tried to sabotage a person as they were either heading somewhere like let's say they were going to the grocery store i don't know let's say someone was traveling six of swords you see how there are swords in the boat. <laughs> it's like, can you imagine this boat sinks? This was a direct attack. So no, it's not, oh, I accidentally, someone accidentally hit me with their car and, and I survived. No, this was someone who intentionally had an attack set up for a person. This person is <laughs> crazy. Whoever, someone, someone got hurt. Like there's something here about a person having gotten hurt by someone They're over it. I almost see like someone is like waiting here. 
waiting. Tell me more about this deceit. Like, who is that person? A foolish person. You see how the fool card came out crooked? Whoever this is, is a fool. Literally, in every sense of the word. It's almost like spirit don't even want to talk about that person. Because whoever got attacked and survived, whatever that was, has completely turned their back on them since. It's almost like, yeah, that's what had happened. Past tense. Had. -d. I don't know why I came out so strong. It already occurred. This is someone who doesn't even want to go back there. Like, it's like this person wants to keep that in the space and just never revisit that again. Interesting. Interesting. I don't know if this person got caught up for this act. We're not going to dive too deep in it. I might get more on it later, but I'm more so curious. It's exactly this person is more interested in what is in front of them than what happened to them in the past. They've reflected on it. They're, they're healing from it. They're reflecting on why it happened in the first place. This is someone who wants to turn their life over. Someone could have gotten hit, like whacked. Like, I don't know, this when this Ace of Wands showed up in the reverse, I was like, mm. Yeah, I was like, tell me more about what this person is looking forward to being an emperor. This is emperor energy. This is claiming authority over one's life, growing up, maturing, being a divine masculine. This is a divine masculine who had a near-death experience. They cheated death, quite literally. That It literally came, it came out that literal. <laughs> okay. This is someone who, wow, whatever that was, screw the monster. Look how I spoke of cheating death, and this one's steady here. The goat man is just evil. What did I say? Evil does not like. Evil does not like love. Evil does not love unity. Da -da -da. What is this? Why did this one show up? Ooh, Chile, the card fell out. Yeah, look at that. It showed up because this denial is still, I don't know what the two of swords is, but it's like two of swords is a common theme. It was here yesterday twice in two readings now it's here again the devil why because the ten of cups and the two of cups is here this is a union reading this is a union reading for some of you there's just this is really specific but this is a union reading that's why the goat man is agitated because the divine won this battle even if it took for this one to nearly lose the battle this one nearly lost y'all that's not something to joke about i really felt it in my gut someone nearly died here okay eight of wands someone might want to talk about it let's talk about it they took their time to someone wanted to take their time to discuss something that happened but they don't want to make that the focal point they want to talk about the future Okay, King of Water. The Chariot. Four of Wands. Someone here is, there's like a lot of opposition. Okay, I have Aries energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Definitely Scorpio with the death card. Someone here could have attempted to move, make a physical move. That also <laughs> came with a lot of opposition. This is someone who feels like all is working against them. But that's how they know that their purpose so, is so grand because the devil is working overtime here. There's a lot of pressure from multiple people, even a community. Tell me more about this. We have the Knight of Cups, the Knight of Swords. Someone is stressed out about this because they've been sabotaged so many times. This person even has someone who communicates on their behalf concerning this group of people or a group. Yo, what I tell you? <laughs> This is, I'm still standing, yeah, 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 <laughs> I'm still standing, ayo, <laughs> hilarious, all right, we have the 
six of swords now. So this is someone who's getting cursed out or attacked verbally. This person's so nervous. This person's so like in their head. Okay, but anyway, forward movement is being had. It is what it is. This is someone who knows the divine truth. I split the deck on the Hierophant, Ace of Swords. For somebody, this person went to a pastor or a priest or someone who can give them clarity, someone they could talk to, a guru, someone sensible. They reflected on that truth for a minute. So who is in the energy of abundance? Because I feel someone else. That could be you, Divine Feminine. It's like I see <laughs> one person having gone through some kind of NDE. And then there's another energy present. High Priestess. You could be an intuitive. You know. You intuitively know. You are high. Like, you are like is giving Ascended Master. I asked. And the vine is like, we're going to introduce this one with a major arcana, period. <laughs> High Priestess, you are family. Something about your intuition having known as well. You might have felt like family to this person from another life. Um, this person feels like family to you. I'm seeing something about a stitch, like stitches and a heart. I don't know if you stitch something. I don't know if you like crafts, but I'm seeing something stitches in the heart. Maybe you stitch something. Maybe you like to sew. I'm seeing a stitches and I'm seeing a heart, like a heart made of cloth and like, I don't know. That's so beautiful. Oh, okay. They're telling me, look, look, look at my chills. You stitched this person's heart back together. That's so, wow. That feels so fuzzy. Look at the confirmation. Maybe someone refers to you as having stitched them back together. The goat man keeps, keeps asserting <laughs> and hating on this beautiful message. Can you imagine? Even in the reading. Tell me more about the seven. Why do I feel like there's more coming though? The sun. Wow, beautiful. This is a win. I'm hearing a win is a win. <laughs> That's so beautiful. Well, if I see the moon, I will lose it. Because the sun and the moon for me is always yin and yang. Knight of pentacles. Someone is like, well, how much do I do I come out pulling the stops? Do I come out being a little bit more cool about it? Do I come out... Someone's going back and forth in their head. What do I do? What do I do? Do I do this? Is this too much? What do I do? <laughs> That's funny. Funny. That's amazing, y'all. That's so nice. Um, anyway, you. There's a lot happening energetically that already took place. The magician, I'm telling you right now, this person is like, hey, hey, rain, hail, or shine. This is happening this lifetime. Whoever is masking this is. When I get the magician falling on top of the emperor, this high priestess, it's like y'all are something else. Y'all are very powerful energetically, spiritually, and this person is, <laughs> this NDE bred a new life in this person. This person needed some time to collect themselves, I'm hearing, because whatever they've experienced, it opened their eyes in some way. We have the star card, destiny, divine timing. No, Seth. The lovers. Spiritual contracts. Other lovers could have fought like hell they did, I'm hearing. The lovers to the five of wands. It's really giving pick me energy. But this is also highlighting a spiritual connection. Yeah. We have the queen of water. Yeah, that's the match to the king the king of cups, page of pentacles, communication. Someone's so nervous about um, what a person might say. Someone might go to a third party to communicate. Like, let's say you have a friend. This person might reach out to your friend. Let's say you have them. I don't know. Someone associate. Let's say the person at work. Like, someone's going to to reach out to a third party for some of you. Someone might be haunted by what they owe you and, and they don't always have to owe you money, <laughs> okay? This is being haunted by what someone wants to give a person. Wow. This star. 
It's almost like they don't even want, look, there's a lot of people jealous here, okay? Five of Swords, okay? People are jealous here. This is weird. This person had karmic soulmates. You could have had karmic soulmates. Like, I feel like karmic soulmates really want whatever's coming. Talking about the Seven of Swords with the Crooked Fool. It's a very insecure person who's in their head. There's someone here who's in their head. But I'm also getting the trap they set up for another is what they're going to end up getting caught up in their cell. So it's like whatever this person attempts to do, they could get in trouble for even trying to do this. So it's like whatever they do could leave a little trail that someone could use against them to take to the authorities, I'm hearing. So it's like this karmic is like, oh, I'm going to do this to sabotage this. But they're setting themselves up for a disaster. Seven swords leads to eight entrapment. Someone could even end up um, getting going to jail for trying to do this. King of Pentacles. Not even that. There's someone's... There's a father here. It's like, well, now if I have something to say about it, there's a father's presence here. The angel to my king of pentacles could be a father's presence. Um, it could also be an angel protecting this king of pentacles. But I, it feels more like someone who's on the other side is like, well, this one ain't going to do jack unless I have something to say about it. Someone could be literally being haunted by a person's ancestor dang this reading just keeps it yes it's like i'm still standing i keep <laughs> i always say this nine of wands reminds me of a cockroach it's like you squish it but it's still alive it, you listen keep trucking on okay whoever needed this reading you have angels working over time you survive like there's some kind of weird it's like damn like you are very very important what is that anime? It's like you are important, you are kind, you are important. Like keep going. Like I don't know who this is. It feels so nice too to swim in this energy. It's like dang, like this is like a story. Like I just feel like someone needs to write this. This is amazing. Like you have angels working, you have the goat man angry, you have listen legacy to have unfold. What did I say about sharing the someone's last name? It's written already. I keep hearing it. Someone is meant to carry someone's last name, expand, build, do all kinds of stuff. And all this mayhem in between just goes to show how important it is. Because the goat man hates this. It's terrible. It's like these two are very powerful beings. Tell me more about this emperor. It's staring at me. <laughs> Tell me more about the emperor. Knight of Cups. This emperor wants to express himself. This emperor is like, do I do this? Do I say that? Just go ahead. Eight of Wands. Communicate your feelings. This is someone who doesn't want to come on too strong. This person has something tangible and they're like, well, if I communicate this, maybe it could lead to the actual tangible thing. Or should I just come out with a tangible thing? What is this thing? Like this person has quite something. Yeah, they're, they're like, I need to time this. I need to pace this. Good. Pacing is good. Seven of Pentacles is months. Like, take your time. This is someone who's like, okay, what do I do? What do I do? I need to do it like this or do it like that. This person working, man. Yo. <laughs> this person feels the pressure. This person might um, have a third party communicate to someone else on their behalf. What did I say earlier about this King of Swords speaking on a person's behalf? It reads like, Oh, yeah, speak to my so-and-so person. Don't talk to me directly. Like, that's literally what it's giving. My gosh. This King of Swords is like, yep, okay, so today, um, this is what's going to happen. All right, you need to do this. You need to sign here. You need to... <laughs> this is, like, a lot. Someone feels like there's a lot of pressure. So they have, their, they have someone else doing it for them. Yes, I'm hearing it's to protect myself. Seven of Wands. They want to protect themselves. Someone here ain't playing about the second life they were giving. This person is not a cat. They don't have nine lives, okay? <laughs> Be weird. <laughs> Five of Wands. But this so they swear. Like these energies. Stiff fights. Stiff. Someone could have been physically attacked. These people are confused and grieving. I'm just seeing someone gripping for straws. They, they desperately want to be where? Here. 
they desperately want what this it is not written for them but they swear so i'm just seeing people you know when it's reading like a zombie apocalypse movie or like the walking dead like but i want that destiny but i want that fate Y'all, what does this come to? <laughs> the energy is twash. <laughs> it's like here I am on a beautiful Mother's Day evening, right? It's like Sunday night. I'm chill. I'm still in my dress from dinner. It's like, y'all. <laughs> and I come to this reading. I'm enjoying myself. And then I see zombies in my mind's eye. Like, but that was mine, man. Like, yo yo this destiny this thing unfolding is very powerful it's beautiful it's ordained it's protected but dang it's really giving i wouldn't be surprised if i see that zombie card from this deck then i will really just <laughs> toss this dress run in circles hilarious <laughs> hilarious these energies are upset and confused i don't know why i don't know who these people are these could have been platonic romantic it's like but that was mine but that was they need to do some soul searching too now the five of cups is grief the seven of cups is confusion like but i thought you know what i mean it's kind of weird hey the chips fall where they always fall where they need to a lot of dense energy here because whoever this is what whichever collective this is these are definitely higher vibrational strong soulmates twins whatever you want to call them i don't like to i don't like to throw labels on these but dang this is oof, nice good energy these people are watching this person this person's in hiding this person's not even talking to them this person's like nope talk to so and so i don't want to talk to you this person's protecting themselves this is like, dang, well, if shoe, if I was on dang near up out of here, I'm not just going to have anybody, like, talk to me. Shoe. I have to go to somebody to calculate the odds. This is the third time my nose is itching. This is the third time I pick up this deck in a ring. This is the third reading in a row. This is the first card from the deck. This deck has 80 cards. This has always been the first card to come out a third reading in a row. That means this reading, the reading I did prior and the reading before that all tether together for some of you. Because what the heck is this? The same creepy, I can't be bothered with the truth card. I said denial has been a big theme these days. Even I'm weirded out. And I've seen a lot of things like, <laughs> shoot, I've been reading for at least five years, guys. This is crazy. Someone, a karmic here, doesn't want to hear this. I don't know what this is, bro. I'm just gonna ignore that too. Shoo. Oh, shoo. Our marriage is meant to last forever. There's someone here who thought. What did I say? I said something here about someone's last name is gonna be someone's. Yo, I'm, I'm seeing people collaborating, expanding. Da da da. It is meant to be. The divine is like, yep, this one dang near got up out of here. But hey, lesson learned. Okay, cycles reset. You can go. It's been written. You understand? It's been written already in the ethers. Ask me what that means. I don't know. I just receive intuitive guidance. Okay? What did I say about someone being in regret and confused? But I thought I had that destiny and I said it's giving zombie. What does this card say? Our marriage is meant to last forever. Someone had thought that they were the ordained partner for somebody. They were in denial of that. Maybe in their figment of imagination, that was meant to be. And honestly, we never really know what's going to play out until it actually plays out, correct? You could have a hunch, heck, you could have a dream. But until it actually unfolds, no one can predict people's free will entirely. I've gotten dang close, y'all. <laughs> but it's like, I've had a lot of people come back to me and say, yeah, that happened. And yeah, like, exactly as you described. Because... If it's near to occurring, the energy is, it tastes more prominent. I get more details. 
if it stretches too far out, it's foggy, but I uh, experimented with my friend, Tasha, shout out to Tasha. I did her a 12 month forecast. You know what it means to read each month and see what the most prominent energy is of each month? There are things occurring that are like, that I actually read way back when and she had to tell me, I was like, are you for real? And she's like, yeah. But still, we never really know until it happens. But on everything that I am, for whoever this reading is for, this feels as secure and written and set in stone as anything I've ever picked up on to a point where it's like once it actually unfolds, there's something here where it's like, yeah, I knew. This is expanding with someone, a legacy, but what someone had to go through to get to this reset in life is worth writing about. And then you have people who went above and beyond, who swore this was theirs. I don't know why I feel like writing is of significance. There's something about writing stuff. I don't know if someone tried to rewrite history, rewrite the future. Like, I really feel that there's someone here who's so in denial of something that is going to happen that has already occurred energetically that will take place in the real world. Sounds a little bit strange, but there's someone here who just doesn't want to see it here. They can't believe it because they swore that would be them. Some prospect got rejected here. It says, I'm a prospect karmic begging for a chance. What did I say about that desperate behavior? It's in the reverse. Someone got rejected. Someone could have gotten x Someone is being ignored, I'm hearing. Someone moved out. Someone left the building. Someone literally, what did I say? That someone was trying to move, but it was like hard for this person to move. Someone was making it incredibly hard. What did I say? Sabotaging the transition. I showed you the swords in the boat. This card is a move. This says I aim to destroy. The cards are literally repeating themselves from different decks. Heck, you could be a reader at this point. <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna um I'm considering courses. Ooh. Someone's very jealous. Um there are a lot of energies that are very jealous of this. Um they might have all the audacity to try to reach out as a result. There's someone here who has some kind of tantrum or episode that landed them at the doctors, whether the mental health professional or physical. This reputation to be ruined card is back. This is someone who's trying to slap on a happy face, but is over medicating to cope with their issues. My only piece of advice is life is a constant, you know, revolving door of knowing when to like invest emotionally, give and make things grow and when to let go. This energy has no concept of time or relevance to letting go whatsoever. Okay, that's denial. Did this not end like this yesterday? Why is this end? Y'all, listen. <laughs> I think I need to do a clean sweep of this table because this energy started here yesterday and ended here again. A karmic is losing it. And that's why I say always, okay, it's not... What is this? Is that a lash? Anyway. <laughs> Pangems. <laughs> it's like after seven years, I'm struggling, y'all. I am. It's like, it's so fun. Like, I don't know. I'm not going to ch change the subject. It was so funny. I literally saw a piece of lash on my dress. I'm like, wow. <laughs> Anyways. Yes, this reading, the segment of that reading, this part with this deck started here and ended here too. It's crazy. I've never seen this happen on my decks. This is wilding, y'all. Wilding. Let's see. Where are we at? I'm going to finish with um, two more decks. Maybe three. All I know is there's something here about allowing God to move through your life. Don't go against him. Don't go against the energy source the universe whatever you want to call it because you do a lot of damage to yourself at times going and moving like that it's just jealousy and that's the thing like i you know 
When you look at others, let them be an inspiration and that alone. Don't move through this energy. That's what it is. That's why that's, I'm telling you so much evil comes from this energy. It could be friends, family, co-workers. It's like, damn, you're picking on her tuna salad, but really you hate her because, I don't know, maybe she dresses well at work. Maybe she's getting that promotion. Envy. The spirit of envy is very ugly. It's really sad. It makes people do the worst things. Just for them to drive themselves insane. Yes, game over. It's like a video game. It's like I'm seeing someone just push a reset button. This is the reset. Ace of, Ace of Pentacles. The world. Cycles closed out. Yeah, you almost died. But hey, you're still here. Look at the bright side. It was so weird. I'm like, how do we go from beautiful things to be had? Someone being redirected on the right timeline, new beginnings, blah, 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 promotions to, oh, someone here almost died. I know what I'm reading. And it's like, huh? <laughs> How? Oh, because someone really set them up that way. Someone had full intent of doing something bad. Someone foolish. Someone who could get in trouble for that. Someone who's in denial. Because they, they are going against... The flow they're going against the current of how things happen organically someone here could have literally like left skipped skipped town to avoid someone total drama action i'm telling you what did i say this is worth writing about someone could have you know gone to the doctors sad anyways next deck we got things to do here yes look at the band-aid yeah. oh my gosh people are crazy hey y'all i've seen some stories of you guys which can we all just like sit back and like appreciate how awesome the collective is not to gas y'all up but like y'all have gone through some insane stuff and y'all are still here today Still got your ticker on straight <laughs> with a big heart. That's priceless. Like sometimes I just sit, you know, I sometimes I do read the comments, right? I do read the comments um, and it's like, I just admire you guys. I really do. I know, I know there was someone once who said that their person was physically attacked in one of the worst ways. But again, they survived. And it was like, wow, look at God. Mm-hmm like this war it's like from spiritual warfare to physical treaty war it's insane <laughs> it's like this is like some kind of dungeons and dragons thing yo this is wild wow please whoever you are right look at this i don't even like worry about whatever this says this says storyteller look once upon a time this will be probably a bestseller new york times bestseller start today no i'm just playing if you have it already my goodness anyways i need to come to your book signing anyway be mindful there's someone who wants to come in and lie they want to spin the narrative on what happened maybe to throw someone off this is an emperor. The spirit is confirming this is someone who's bossing the hell up. This NDE really... <laughs> it's like rebooted someone. They reset them right back into this new program of, hey, the boss. This is the boss. Someone here might like Bruce Springsteen. Someone might want to... Um, hmm. Look here. I don't know if someone had tried to have a come up. It's in the reverse with, again, I'm, I'm getting the energy of offspring. I really can't with that, you know. I really can't. It was there in the last reading. I'm not going to discuss it again, but it's here, of course. You see this? Come up and this newborn. It's both in the reverse. It's something someone tried to do. Anyways, any last words from this deck? Trifling blockages probably someone tried to set up blockages where finances were concerned yeah heart to heart opening up intimately serious conversation getting on the same page 
I don't see someone stitching someone's heart back together. Someone here could have had heart palpitations, heart problems. Um, someone could have had a stroke or like a shock or something with the heart. Remember how I see a heart getting stitched back and I'm seeing this thing on the heart? I'm so sorry if someone really like really badly got injured. There's someone here who values life so much more now. I saw the jukebox in there where someone is no longer repeating a pattern. Not after what happened, okay? Time. What does this masculine collective have to say to their counterpart if this reading is for you? This reading is not for everybody, clearly. <laughs> Did I have to really do that for it to sink in? A doigt. Some people really be taking things a little too seriously. I see y'all too, okay? It's like, dang. Let it be reading for entertainment purposes only, right? Right. <laughs> Chill. Disclaimer, I'm going to surprise you. Wow. Sorry, I'm getting, I don't know why I'm so giddy, y'all. It's the energy, like there's something here just tastes good. I keep referring to taste, like I have taste buds. Well, I have energetic taste buds, don't I? Not that I actually taste it. <laughs> but anyways, something is really like, wow. I just feel, I don't know. Write about it. Share your story. Something is very inspirational. Um, something. Someone's excited about something, but they're equally nervous. <laughs> you know, it's almost like this person is more excited than this one <laughs> it's really cute one person is more excited than the other the person presenting this idea this shift um this this start to a new beginning they're more excited than you could ever imagine beautiful um tell me about this divine timing i don't know if this person dreamt about it this one's gonna jump y'all there's so much love in this energy that's why it's like I'm here, then I'm in Karmicville, but then I'm over here, and then I'm in I. Yo, this reading took me for a ride. I'm going to take a leap of faith. This is someone who is incredibly stubborn. My stubborn masculine card, where it says, I'm just not emotionally available right now, is in the reverse. This person's like, screw it, I am available. I'm very much available. I want to take this chance. And I love this person unconditionally. That is fabulous. It's not often that I see this. Listen. I'm very like straight no chaser. You already know me. Beautiful. I was like, if this is going to be a bad card, I'm going to get egg on my face. It's a beautiful card as well. Okay. They're like, read it. <laughs> I cherish every second I get to spend with you. What did I say? This person now values life so much more. If there's anything I know, right? I've seen death. And it's like, it's so surreal where you you do value your time more and you almost get offended when people waste yours because you just know the concept of time and how important it is to like be present with people you love okay so this is someone who this nde completely flipped the script on this person's perception of themselves how they move life the importance of certain things who they choose to access them again like this person is is y'all one day they're going to look back and they will remember if they're even so much as watching they will remember this because i too was in a position where i felt conflicted about the shift that occurred in my case it's a passing right it took me a while to make peace and accept it but this person one day is going to be glad this happened i know it sounds crazy this person is going to be glad they had this nde mark my words okay because they wouldn't have been the same otherwise that's how transformational that was okay Dang. this is a runner who's no longer gonna run that is what i have for you and for someone here someone's like what is the timeline what is the timeline my reading sometimes pan out after a month okay after a month like sometimes i'll be looking at things and i'm like dang that's actually happening <clears throat> a month later 
creepy. A clock. Someone wanted to know the time in. I just feel the person who is um, not me seeing someone stitching a heart back together. Yes, I swear the deck it showed itself again. This is creepy. They're saying, for whoever this reading is for, right? Healing from heartbreak. Freedom. Mm. Freedom from toxic relationships or addiction. Someone has been freed. They are healing themselves. I literally saw in my mind's eye someone stitching something together. What is she doing? I saw the deck on it not once, twice. Synchronicities are absolutely beautiful. I spoke of time and how precious it is. I don't even need to shuffle these. When I tell you, you will find so much peace in your present when you accept that everything time-wise occurs for a reason. Someone here needs to be okay with divine timing because this healing is so necessary. Okay? Maybe yours. Maybe you are freeing yourself from something toxic. Maybe the person who had an NDE could be have freed themselves from something toxic. You need time to recuperate from that. Okay? Allow this season of recuperation to pave the way for that reset to be beautiful and, you know aligned it's like someone's gonna be on the same page because it's like oh wow i get it now i get it now allow the time for that reset to occur because i have no words for what i just read this is a very beautiful reading as strange as it was yes what did i say about this person not being available for phone calls they're even putting someone else to converse on their behalf. It says not dealing, hurt, avoiding conversations, call person boundaries and still angry. They're still upset. What did I say? I said they might be upset that someone really did this to them or that this happened to them. One day they're going to realize how that was the pivotal point. My death card was in the reverse. This person cheated death, but it made them appreciate their life so much more themselves so much more their time so much more and only i who see death and is like you know in experiencing loss appreciates those things it's like whoa yeah that's what i'm feeling happened to this person heck i could be talking to this person did that happen to you drop it in the comment section maybe you can enlighten others i love when you guys encourage each other um, share your stories. You never know who could be going through what you're going through and you give them a piece of advice. You guys are awesome, okay? Leave your gems too. So that is what I have for you. If this read resonated, please don't forget to like and subscribe and until next time, bye.